something is happening in the comedy world. Something is happening in the comedy world right now around this whole cancel culture situation and comedians being on the front lines of it. And mm. no one more on the front lines than Mr. Dave Chappelle and his new comedy special. If you young comics, it's just that if someone like Dave Chappelle is, regardless of how you feel about what he says, if a comedian like Dave Chappelle is still under this much scrutiny, like, I mean, the special isn't that old, but I mean, it was last year and a lot has happened and a lot is currently happening. And the fact that he is now like still having to release an entire special basically kind of inspired yeah. by this, you know, it's yep. if Dave Chappelle's having to tread lightly, then it's like comedians, you know, think before you tweet, I would say. Yeah. 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 I mean, and I think it's all about, do you want the words that you were saying to be sort of what is attached to you? Like forever. You know what I mean? Like the yeah. internet does not go away. Right. I mean, we got the example of Shane Gillis who, hadn't really tweeted anything um, for a while. He was up for SNL. And next thing you know, they found something old that he put out. And it basically got him, in essence, didn't get him a gig on SNL. But he's doing fine now. But it didn't get him the gig that he was going at. But I mean, also, you know, I can't deny the boy, he, he monetized that too, because he definitely turned that ship around. And he's doing fine now. Um, but it's definitely like, you know, it's, I say to young comics, heed the warning of knowing that anything and everything you do say and you put out on social media does have not only a shelf life, but also it can come back to bite you. Yep. In a year, in a decade, like you just, you know, Kevin Hart, another example, he was about to host the Oscars. And then yep. they went deep in your boy's archive, found some like homophobic tweets and such, and then he's not hosting the Oscars, you know. So, and yeah. this is at a very early level in your careers of like, okay, we're supposed to be creating a lot of content and we got to get out there and we got to build a following and all of that. And that is part of the hustle, but be mindful of what you're posting. And I would, especially in the early, I would focus on quality over quantity like you really want to have something worth sharing because you got to think if it goes viral when you post something think what i want this to go viral what i want to be known for this what i want what will this look like in five years in 10 years because there's real business implications i mean we talked about shane gillis we talked about kevin hart dave Chappelle, uh andrew schultz another example of someone very controversial and he actually ended up having to buy back his most recent comedy special due to controversial material on the special. Yeah. Like, I mean, and these are people, these are also people were saying like Dave Chappelle and Andrew Schultz, arguably the funniest people top, on the top of the food chain, top For of sure. the food chain. So when you see them doing an abortion joke or you see them doing a trans joke, this is something we even brought up on the q and I did with Mike Binder when he was talking about Bill Burr and how he does these risky topics, but he has spent over 30 years honing the craft of comedy to be able to pull these topics off. So mm -hmm. take that in mind, comedians. It's like, yes, you want, you want to be the next Bill Burr. You want to talk about these topics. You'll get there. Work hard. Keep writing, performing. You'll get there, my friends. But start with just like fundamental facts about you and your life and your experiences. And then you can start to weave in the controversy. Once you have a very confident competence of the craft of comedy, this is not something you just say and then whatever, what you're saying is mattering now more than ever. Like you're a comedian, you're on the front lines of free speech and people are listening. So do take what you're posting and sharing and saying seriously and not just as like a throwaway of like, oh, maybe this will go viral. <laughs> yeah, facts, man. I mean, you said it best. I think it's... Uh... I usually do. Yeah, it's usually, <laughs> it's usually me that's bringing it home there, really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
But yeah, I mean, I think it's just important to know that the art of comedy takes time, especially at that level. And part of the reason we practice and tell you guys around, you know, everyone really around going personal is that's like, no one can argue with that. This is your own sort of personal take on things. Um, these are things that are happening to you. And like the reason why it makes it so much, I mean, there's a reason why Jerry Seinfeld like comedy isn't the kind of comedy that's all over the place now. Because mm. there was a period of time when that was the type of comedy that everyone did. It was very observational. Everyone did it. It could relate to absolutely anyone and everyone. But Jerry Seinfeld is kind of one in a million. There's not a lot of people that are doing Jerry Seinfeld-like comedy. And what's happened is that just our culture and sort of our ego, not our egos, but like the ecosystem has kind of changed. So people just aren't into that. What people are into, as you can tell, as you guys are seeing from social media comedy and the Netflix is, it's personal. Yep. People are coming out and talking about, you know, you know, we, we've done a couple of comedy specials. The Ali Sadiq special was like personal. Mm -hmm. The Earthquake special was personal. Um, the Taylor Thompson special, personal. You know I mean like all, but those were heat. Like those were solid specials, but they were very, very personal. But man, those guys are like, they're such good writers, but they got to that point off of practice. You yeah, know what I mean? A lot of practice. So a just be practice. careful what be careful what you post out there, my friends. You know it's because yeah. um, you never know what when you post something. Just ask what I want this. What I want to be known for this forever. 